Okay, so if you are out tonight, I want you to look up. Over the next few weeks, something really special will be happening in the sky. You may be able to spot a unique glow called the zodiac lights. Brandon Rude joins us live from the Michigan Science Center this afternoon. So, Brandon, what should we be looking for? Well, we're looking for an unusual light, Karen, but there are no better places to learn about science than at Cranbrook or here at the Michigan Science Center, downtown Detroit. So we sought the expert advice of an astronomy expert to explain this spectacular sight. A rare sight in the skies last night, the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights were visible even here in Metro Detroit, thanks to a strong geomagnetic storm, not just here, but as far south as Virginia. And check this out. A few weeks back, an England bound airliner does a mid flight 360 so that all passengers on board could view the spectacle. Now that's one cool captain. But we're talking about a different astronomical light that will soon be visible in our night skies called the zodiac light. And you'll see what looks like a false sunrise or sunset. Mike Narlock at the Cranbrook Institute of Science says zodiac light happens twice a year near the start of fall and now as we head into early spring. Basically, the best times are to look around the equinox dates, which we've just passed here in March. Um, the closer we get to June, the less likely it's going to be. New science suggests the extended twilight visible in the western horizon about 90 minutes after sunset comes from an interaction between the Earth's eclipses and debris from Mars and Jupiter. Sunlight reflects off that dust. Um, imagine you're at home and you see a shaft of light coming in from the sun and you look and you see all those little particles of, uh, in, in your air that you're breathing, little bits of dander, little, that's sort of the same thing that's going on here. Over the next several weeks, you'll be able to see this light return from the darkness near the zodiac constellation west. Just don't expect that you'll be able to stare out your window and see it. We suggest you go about 20 miles away from the nearest city. You're going to get pretty dark skies. Dark sky parks and preserves are scattered across pure Michigan as nearby as the thumb for best viewing. But Mike says just get as far enough away from the city lights as possible. Absolutely. You get in a dark enough sky and you can see this with your unaided eye. And you look outside your window now, you see more clouds than anything, more clouds coming. We've got some wet weather moving in, but might not be the best time to check out the Zodiac light tonight. However, if you head up to the thumb, there is a dark sky preserve there. The closest dark sky park, southwestern lower Michigan. It's a good two and a half, three hours away. But Karen, something we can look forward to in these boring spring early summer nights perhaps over the next several weeks. Live yeah. at the Michigan Science Center, I'm Brandon Rue. Back to you. Pretty cool stuff. We appreciate it. Thank you, Brandon.